the Street Fighter combat tutorial. Now we're covering Akuma, who happens to be my favorite character in Street Fighter. Alright? So, Akuma is similar to Ryu in a lot of aspects. He's got the guard down here, he's got the same sort of setup, but his moves are generally a lot more powerful and a lot more brutal looking. Alright? So, basic moves similar to Ryu. He's got a jab, boom, you know, step back to the He's got a jab, down low, but then where Ryu has a cross punch, Akuma's got an open hand palm strike, boom, driving it across right into the center of the chest. That's actually really nasty. You hit somebody with that, an open palm strike right to the chest, puts a lot of force and impact on them. And sometimes hitting with the knuckles is not as beneficial as hitting with the open palm because first off, it's less wear and tear on your hands, and second of all, you're actually hitting a wider area, you're crushing more blood vessels, more blood force trauma in the area. Different targets, different goals. So we have our jab, we've got our cross palm strike, and then he's got a straight strike to the head. So that's a nice little combo right there. One, two, three, come across, but generally leaves your head open. You don't want to try and do that in a real fight because as soon as I come low with that first hand, yeah, that's my problem. And even if I go out to block, all right, I cover it here. Now all of a sudden I can't cover my midsection, first of all. And on top of that, I have to pull this hand back before I can come in with that palm strike. So generally you want to lead in with things other than just hands. Other hand techniques that Kuma's got when he's in close range, he's got the same sort of collarbone destroying move that Ryu does, but instead of punching down like this on the collarbone, Akuma's got what's called a shuto, an open hand, like a chop, boom, right down on the, on the collarbone. Either side that'll work. Come in here, boom, or come in here, boom. It takes very little pressure in the right angle to break your collarbone. So if you hit in the right spot, real hard with an open hand, you really do some damage. Other moves he's got, of course, is the go shore you can when he comes up, you know, same as before, and if you want a real Detailed right up on the shore, you can go check out the you video. But basic idea is you want to come in and bend those knees as you come in, drive up, and turn completely. Get your hips cleared all the way through as you come up. And it sometimes even does good. You grab this hand here as you come up, hook, whoop, bam, and drive here. Alright? As far as kicks go, Akuma's kicks, again, very similar to Ryu. He's got a very fast, high side blade kick. Side blade kick again drives out with your leg like that. You want to come up, boom, straight in the side. And your foot turns, that's why it's called a side blade kick. It's the blade of the foot that you hit with when you come up with that. So he's got a fast high side blade kick for just stopping momentum, and then a low power side blade kick for clearing somebody out. His final, his heavy kick, is actually a double kick. You see here he comes up, he'll come up with a roundhouse kick with the back leg, and a roundhouse kick comes up with the knee driving like that, and you swing through and you can either hit with the ball of your foot, which is right there, or with the top of your foot, right here. And I would think about that one as the first move takes out the guard, boom, and then the second move comes through as a big hook kick and you catch him against the chest and the head like that. And when he does it, he clears through. Now I can't do that with my opponent right now because if I'm in range for this right here, I'm going to put a hole in his chest or his face. So what he's going to do is he's going to go grab a pad and he's going to show you how powerful it is. Now the key on this is, so the key on this is that you want to make sure that you get your full hip rotation into it. You're kind of leading into it with the roundhouse kick already anyway. So you come up, you catch the hand first to bring your hips through already. You just need to continue that circle around and stay upright. Spin on your toes, not your heels. So he comes in, he goes, one, and then, ah! Want to see that again? Yeah, we want to see that again. So he comes up, he's got his guard. I'm here, all the way over here. I can't punch him from here. I have a hard time kicking him from here. But I come and catch that hand, boom, boom! <coughs> now if I put that up a little bit higher and put it against his head, you can imagine what happened. All right, that's enough of the pad for now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to some throws, all right? Now, Akuma doesn't really have actual throws. Akuma has things where he grabs onto you and beats the air with the crap out of you. So the first one he's got is for close range here. He'll just reach up, grab on here, pull in, and then with that open palm strike, very hard right into your midsection. So you're actually pulling this way to get the guy out of balance. And whenever you're off balance, your muscles are more worried about keeping you upright than they are about tensing to protect against the strike. So you grab here, and this could be a shirt collar, this could be a t-shirt, a jacket, it doesn't have to be a key. All right, he pulls here like this, and he steps in, boom, and drives right into the solar plexus. The solar plexus is that area right below your rib cage here. If you feel your ribs, come down the center. That's where your diaphragm is. If you hit that right, you knock the wind out of somebody really easy. So, that's one of his throws, and this is in Street Fighter 4 we're talking about here. The other throw that he's got is where he comes out, he'll come out here, grab, force the opponent down, and then, Hua! Open hand shuto right on the back of the net. Shuto is that chop maneuver again, boom. 
Very, very nasty. You can come up with both hands like that. You can come up here, grab it here, boom, force them down, and then bam, right on the back of the head, right on the back of the neck. Drive it in. So, a couple of quick Akuma combos. All right, we talked about how the side blade kicks are good for stopping advancing opponents before with Chun Li and Ryu. Same deal with Akuma. He comes in at me, side blade, and boom, stop him real quick and easy. All right? And now we're right here. Here's the top of his head. I can come in, boom, with that palm strike right on the side of the head here. All right, drive him back. And then the next one's going to come is that cross punch, boom, right up here. And then we're going to finish up with an knee strike. Boom, bam! Drive right through. So again, one more time. He's advancing at me. All right, he comes that, boom, I stop with that. Palm strike here, cross, and then drive in with a knee strike. And again, the key on that knee strike, as with Ryu, is you got to follow all the way through. Get your hip all the way through. Your momentum should carry you through your opponent. All right? Another good combo. He comes in real close range on me. All right, I'm up here. Here, right here, I got my collarbone smash. I'm going to come here, boom, right on the side of the collarbone here. All right, backs him off a little bit. Maybe I broke his collarbone. Probably didn't feel good, at least. I go up here, so here's the straight, boom, upside the head. And the last move right here, we're going to come in, whoop -ha! clear him off. All right? Whoop -ha! Whoop -ha! Finally, we're going to come in. He's going to come in with just like an overhead strike. So you've got a knife or something like that, a rock in his hand. Just boom, catch here. I come up, show you can. Here I am controlling the hand. I've got whatever the blade or whatever it is in his hand. And I come up right under here. All right, one more time. And if it's cool, it's go shoryuken. Right? So, I hope that was informative. Again, these videos are no substitute for actually finding a school of your own. Go find a reputable martial arts school in your area. Get in there, get some classes in your belt, they'll do you good, okay? <laughs> Don't forget to check out the blog, link is below, subscribe to the channel, and as always, live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome.